the plate, right-click and select Edit Derived Part. Now next to the Sketches folder is a plus sign. Let's expand it. We see that Sketch 2 is located here. Let's include this sketch. Inventor gives us a warning. Selected a non-exported object will modify the base component to mark the object S for export. So what that S here means is Sketch 2. Let's click OK and OK again. Now here's Sketch 2. Let's double click on it to open it for editing. However, as you see, we can't modify this sketch. However, we can use it as reference geometry. Let's click on Finish Sketch and let's go back to the plate.ipt tab. Let's modify Sketch 2 here. Just double click and make this, for example, a quarter of an inch. Update. Back to part one. And as you see, our changes did take effect. Now let's learn how we can change parameters. Go to Parameters. In this window, you need to check this box here to include your parameters. Or they can be selected from the Derive Parts dialog window. Let's also insert a custom parameter. We'll call it AA, for example. For its equation, I'll type D3 times D4. And just click outside the cell to register. And now let's click Done. Right click on the plate and select Edit Derived Part. Let's expand the Parameters folder. Here we've got our model parameters. Three parameters were pre selected here. OK. Down below, we've got user parameters. Let's click OK and OK again. If we open the Parameters dialog window, we see these parameters under User Parameters. But we can't modify them here. In order to break or suppress the link with the base component, what we can do is right click, and we've got two options. We can select Suppress Link with Base Component or Break Link with Base Component. I'll use the second, Break Link. Now let's open Sketch 2 and make some changes. Finish Sketch. As you see, the changes to the sketch didn't affect the underlying solid. Let's open the Parameters dialog window. The parameters can now be changed as well. Let's click Done. And this concludes our video about working with derived parts. We'll see you back in a minute where I'll show you how to save your part as a template.